Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today we're going to be feeding my piranhas some live food. I've had this school of eight red belly piranhas for about a month now and we're actually leaving in two days to deliver these to another YouTuber and you guys will see that very soon but I did promise you guys that I would do some live feeding videos with these piranhas while we have them and I actually got a lot of mixed feedback when I said that. A lot of you guys said you were excited to see the live feedings but a lot of you guys actually said you don't really want to see that. So I decided I would just make one big piranha live feeding video instead of like three individual ones. So this will be my only piranha live feeding video at least for now. But yeah, I should go ahead and say that in this video, live worms, crickets, shrimp, and probably guppies are going to be eaten by my piranhas and probably my cichlids as well. So if that's something that you guys are not comfortable with seeing, that is completely fine. You do not have to watch this video. I'll be back next week with a more family-friendly video for you. But for those of you that would like to stick around and watch this, let's go ahead and take a look at the piranha tank. You may notice it looks a little different from the last time you saw it. I did add a couple rocks over here on the left side and I moved this big tree decoration to the right side. And I did this just to give them a little bit more structure you guys will see here in a second that quite a few of these piranhas actually have a chunk bitten out of them And I do want to talk about this for one second I'll actually drop in a couple flakes to try and get them to come out so you guys can see what I'm talking about in the first video I made with these piranhas I was showing you guys one of them that had a chunk bitten out of his head Just like this guy and at this point every single one of these fish except for one has had a chunk bitten out of them It's the big guy right there. He's the only one that has not had a chunk bitten out of him So I'm assuming he's the one that's doing the attacking. Yep, there he is right there He's the biggest out of all of them and I was just just at the pet store the other day where I got these piranhas and while I was there I was talking to the dude that sold them to me and I was asking him like is it normal for them to bite chunks out of each other's heads and he said yes that is normal and also at the store a couple of the piranhas in that tank did have chunks bitten out of them as well he said that they regenerate very quickly which I found that is true like I said every fish in this tank except for one has had a chunk bitten out of them and they actually heal up in less than a week which is pretty crazy and he didn't exactly tell me why they do this but he told me it might help if I add more structure to the tank which is why I added those rocks and he told me I should also feed them more often, but I already feed these guys twice a day, so I don't think feeding is the problem. But yeah, it probably doesn't help that they're only in a 25-gallon tank, but this is just a temporary holding tank. Here in a few days, they are going to be getting a much, much bigger tank, so that should hopefully help them stop biting each other. But yeah, these guys have been pretty cool to own. It's always cool watching them eat. I think I've actually noticed a little bit of growth in some of these guys, especially the big guy right there. But yeah, I've really enjoyed my time with these guys, and I think after we get rid of these ones, we might eventually end up getting more. It won't be right away because I do have other plans for this tank, but I can definitely definitely see myself getting another school of piranhas in the future. But now I think it is time to get into the live feedings. That is what you guys pressed on this video for. And like I said earlier, today we are going to be feeding these piranhas some live worms, crickets, shrimp, and guppies, I believe. And yeah, I have the worms ready to go here, but we do need to go buy the crickets, shrimp, and guppies. So with that being said, I'll see you guys at the pet store. Alrighty guys, I just got done inside the pet store and I got 12 large crickets. This is definitely more than 12 though. This is probably between 20 and 25. So shout out to the pet store worker for that. And then we got 12 common guppies and 12 ghost shrimp. We just got 12 of everything to keep it simple. And yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna give the piranhas, but whatever we don't use on the piranhas, we'll just use on the cichlids. I could drop all this in the 125 and it will be gone in about 10 seconds. So that's the plan. And with that being said, I'll see you guys back at home. Alrighty guys, we are back from the pet store. We've got our crickets and our guppies and shrimp but we are actually going to be starting with the worms i already had these here these are red wigglers i feed these to my blue crayfish my african clawed frogs and then my fish every once in a while and we're going to see if the piranhas will go for one of these and we're pretty much going to hop right into this i've got a perfect sized worm right here and we're just going to go right ahead and drop him into the tank oh pluto's trying to get to him through the tank but let's see if anyone comes out and gets him probably should have waited till after this video to put these rocks in because they might block our view a little bit but we've got the worm wiggling around down there there. Piranhas are starting to investigate it. One of them just took a peck at him. Didn't see if he got a piece off or not. I don't think he did, but they definitely seem interested early on. They're starting to peek out again. Let's see if they'll take it. Oh, oh, so close. You know what? I think I'm going to drop in just a little bit of flakes to see if we can get them to come out. Oh, 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 one of them got him. One of them got it. Look at that. Oh, he's biting him apart. He literally just bit a chunk off of him. Look at that. They are attacking that thing. That's how fast it changes. Look, he just swallowed that one up. And just like that, it is gone. And all of them come out to start looking. They're all so scared. But then when the first one bites at it, they all just attack it. That's how these things hunt. And that was crazy. They bit that worm apart like it was nothing. And look, now they're ready. Now they're in feeding mode. Let's get this thing going. Next, we're going to feed these piranhas some crickets. I just dumped them all into this bucket. And that's kind of scaring me there. 
I didn't think they would be able to climb this. So I'll just get off of there. I do not need 20 crickets loose in the fish room. But yeah, let's just grab one of these guys real quick and see if the piranhas will go for them. I think these guys are going to float, so I don't know how long it's going to take the piranhas to find them. But hopefully not too long. Oh, the filter just blew him down. And he's going right back up. Okay, looks like no one saw him. A few moments later. All right, guys, the first cricket just worked his way into that corner, so I dropped in two more. Oh, the filter just pushed him down. Get him. Get him. Oh, he bit on him. Look at that. The biggest piranha just took down the cricket. Look at that. Look at his reflection. He's munching on him. He's got a leg hanging out of his mouth. Oh my goodness. He inhaled that thing. And again, look, all the piranhas are coming out, seeing what's going on. All right, we are two for two so far. I honestly was not sure if the piranhas would eat any of this stuff, but they've taken down the worm. They've taken down a cricket. And now it is time to drop in a ghost shrimp. And I'm excited for this one. These shrimp can be pretty quick. So let's see if the piranhas can catch one. Oh, look at that. One of the ghost shrimp literally just jumped and stuck onto the side of this pitcher. All right, got him in my hand right here. And let's drop him into the tank. Watch him swim down to the bottom. There he is. Oh boy, it's only a matter of time before they swoop this guy up. All right, I just got another handful of them. I just want to see if they do anything. All right, there's one floating right up there. No way the piranhas don't see these guys now. One eternity later. All right, guys, at this point, it's been like seven or eight minutes. The piranhas have not found any of the ghost shrimp. It doesn't help that they're just about invisible. But what I'm going to do is drop in some flakes for the piranhas and then wait for them all to come out to eat. Eat, and when they do I'm gonna dump in this cup of like six ghost shrimp and hopefully then they'll see them all right they're starting to come out to eat so I'm gonna dump in the ghost shrimp there they go and there's one right there by where they're at how are they not going for him oh I definitely just saw one eat the shrimp did you guys see that finally got a shot of one eating the shrimp it took a little bit but they finally got him oh they just almost got that one too so we are now three for three we've gotten them to eat the worm the cricket and now the shrimp and that just leaves one last thing we are gonna drop in some guppies and see if the piranhas will eat them I'm really not sure if they will I mean they probably will they've eaten everything so far I'm just gonna go in there with my hand and grab a few and drop them on in all right they haven't seen him yet he's back there in the corner he is literally oh look at that oh so close Oh, they just struck at him. Oh, he is in trouble. He's coming around back here. He's going around the... Oh, my goodness. Another one just tried to get him. He has the nerve to munch in their tank right now. He was just munching on a flake in the piranha tank. This guppy is already a legend. He is munching right now, bro. He's going to pay for that, though. Ain't nothing free in this tank. Oh, a guppy. Oh, my gosh. He got him. He got the guppy. I'll have a slow-mo picture of that real quick, but one of them definitely just got one. We're going to grab just a few more of these guys. I do want to save a few for the cichlids. There are some guppies. Oh, my goodness. But now we are going to feed some of the leftovers to the cichlids. I think we're going to drop some in the 75 for the smaller cichlids, and then we're going to drop pretty much everything else into the 125 for all the big boys to eat. And I think I actually want to keep the rest of the guppies. I'm going to put them in my guppy breeding tank. We can get them to breed in there and in the end make even more guppies for us so i'm gonna save the rest of the guppies but we are gonna feed the crickets and the shrimp to my cichlids so we've got all our leftover guppies here in this cup and we're gonna release them into our guppy breeding tank there you go buddies it's your lucky day fellas enjoy all your new friends but these guys right here they aren't so lucky these guys are getting fed to the fish so i'm gonna open up the lid for the 125 and i'm gonna open up the lid for the 75 and now we're just gonna grab a handful here and let's start with the 125 there we go Ike didn't instantly pounce. Okay, never mind. It's <laughs> gonna say he didn't instantly pounce on him. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Bruce is munching on one. Ike definitely just got a couple. And was that all of them already? Oh, there's one right here trying to escape. Bloop. Oh, Bruce gonna get him? Yep. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple more. And we're gonna drop these guys into the 75. Oh, Kobe just struck at one. There it is. All right, Kobe just took that one down. Oh, and the silver dollars are going for that one. Oh, Texas cichlid. Oh, the Texas cichlid got him. Look at that. Look, he's got him in his mouth running around. Look at that. Yeah, he's right there in the cave. He's got the cricket in his mouth right now. All oh, the catfish is chasing him, trying to get it. You know what? We'll drop a few more into the 75 for those guys. Actually, we'll start with one here, see who gets him. Kobe, boom. Should I try and hand feed one to the crawfish? Yeah, I'm definitely doing that. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this one here. I'm gonna try and hand deliver this to Neptune. Come on, take it, buddy. Reach out your claw and grab it and don't get me, please. Oh, he's reaching for it. He's reaching for it. Take him. Oh, he got him. Look at that. Neptune got the cricket. All oh, the fish are trying to steal it from him. Oh, I think Kobe might have got it from him. No, he's got it back there. I don't know how well you guys can see it on camera, but he's munching on it. That is awesome. Neptune, want another one? Oh, he's pinching. He's trying to pinch me. Neptune, come here. Kobe, no, Kobe, not for you. All right, Kobe's trying to get it. Just take it, Kobe. Oh, did the redhead get it? Oh, he did. It's hanging out of his mouth, kind of. All right, we're going to drop some more into the 125. Got him right here. 
Ike exploding on them. I want to see the Oscars eat a cricket or two. I'm not sure if they will. They've always been kind of weird eaters. Oh, Bruce going back up. There it is. Ike just got another. Oh, you know what? I forgot about Pluto. Pluto will definitely eat a cricket. We'll grab this guy right here. Come here, Pluto. Ready? Boop. Oh, there it is. Missed him at first, went back. Oh, look at that. He is attacking that thing. Oh my gosh. He keeps spitting it back out. Oh, I think each time he's biting more off. Look at that. Every time he spits it out, it's like a smaller piece. And there it is. He ain't spitting that one out. You know what? Just for fun, we're going to grab like the smallest one in here and put him in the baby convict cichlid tank and watch these guys go to work. Look at that. I knew that they would go for a cricket, but they, oh my goodness, look at that. That's Killer Jr. right there putting in that work. His father would be proud. Going to grab a few more here and drop them in the turtle tank. I doubt any of the turtles will get them because these Buenos Aires Tetras will beat them to it. Yep, as you can see there, Junior's coming over, seeing what all the commotion's about. You know what? I'm going to see if I can get Junior to grab one. You know what? I'll hand feed one to Junior. Watch this. Grab it. There you go, buddy. Look at that. He's going back up for it. Got it. Dang. There we go, Junior. I was not expecting to give him one today. I just realized I completely forgot about the ghost shrimps. So we're going to go ahead and dump them into the 125. Oh, Ike munching. Is Ozzy going to get one? He seemed interested. Bruce definitely got one. Ike going crazy down there. Bruce just got another. I think I saw the Firemouth grab one. But yeah, just like that. All the ghost shrimp are gone. That was about five seconds. And yeah, that's everything. All the ghost shrimp and crickets are gone. I'd say this video was definitely a success. We got the piranhas to eat all four foods that we tried feeding them. And we fed the leftovers to the cichlids and the turtle and the crawfish. We fed pretty much everything down here in the fish room. So this was definitely a fun one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But that pretty much is going to wrap up this video in today's comment of the day. Go out too and if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen and if you liked this video be sure to hit that like button do me a favor and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and i'm gonna see you in the next video